I have been able to lose 10 kilograms and I've also been able to build my frame with lean mass all by following the same principles, the same methods and applying my frameworks in order to achieve those goals and I'm going to explain them all to you in today's video and the reason why I'm currently here in a hotel room in Cologne, Germany ties perfectly in together with everything that I'm about to tell you but first it is 7 p.m. I'm hungry I just had a two and a half hour drive so it is time for room service. Hi, can I please order the young greens? Can I also have the fried Norwegian salmon? Bye. I hate, I hate things like this, but I don't know why. That's what arrived. It smells like salmon in here. What a beautiful dinner. I have some salmon with rice and curry, and then avocado with cashew nuts, a bit of bread, some tea, and then some balsamic vinegar. What a cozy dinner date. What I am doing here is something really exciting and that is that I have a two-day workshop planned with our app developers. Yes, I'm building my own fitness app. We've spent months already preparing everything for these two days, like all the features, the interface, the layout, and that's like our input. And then the next couple of days, we're going to discuss it with them. They have the knowledge, the expertise, they have the experience. So it will be a very, very exciting and challenging two days. And I cannot wait, but that's why I'm here. My favorite thing in the entire world, I'll show it now. It's when you grab a piece of bread, you add butter, maybe even a bit of salt, just because we're feeling fancy. You know what the problem is when you try to order food in hotels? When I ordered the salmon, there were like four pieces of beans, so really no vegetables. I wanted to get some vegetables in, so I ordered the avocado salad. This is the avocado that I got. Two of these, I already ate one. Can you see it? You can't even see it. And then this is the lettuce, so. Cheers. I don't know if it's like a normal thing to just leave the food out in the hallway, but it smells like salmon, so I didn't want to leave it in here. But I hope that's not rude. <laughs> I woke up super nauseous, which is not the best feeling. So I planned to go and do a workout, but I was like, that's not, that's not happening. <laughs> it's not the vibe. So I just laid in bed and now I'm getting ready and maybe I have time to uh, train later, but we will see. I was actually able to finish a lot of preparations yesterday evening still, which was really nice. So I feel quite calm about the workshop and prepared. Love that feeling. Um, I just wasn't really able to film because it was so dark here and I only had like the same quality of lighting as I just had in the bathroom. So <laughs> it wasn't working. These are done. Now it's time for setting spray. Always feels so refreshing. And then this one and then I'm done. I ironed this at home, but I think that was a waste of time. The most random breakfast probably ever. <laughs> uh, I didn't know what I was feeling like eating, so a bit of protein, a bit of carbs, some green. So cheers. Tastes healthy. Actually, could.
couldn't stay for another night so I need to figure something out for later today for this evening but now I'm in the Uber on the way to the location where I'll have the meeting with the developers so super exciting uh, I think it's really close so that's perfect Today is day two of my app workshop. I had to switch hotels, which is why I have a different background. But I wanted to explain my approach exactly and how I'm able to achieve all the different goals that I have had throughout my fitness journey and how I will be able to continue to achieve my goals during my fitness journey and how you can do exactly the same. So my approach is very simple. I love simple things. I feel like you should be able to explain everything that you're doing to a kid and then it should make sense. Not that you should be explaining it to a kid, but just in terms of how you should be able to communicate the things that you actually believe in. And that doesn't though mean that it is easy because it's not really easy necessarily. It definitely requires determination, motivation, uh, persistence, but that's the beauty. So my approach, I always try to start with assessing what my equilibrium is. So basically what I'm doing whenever I am maintaining. So what I'm doing in terms of sleep, uh, food choices, how much I eat, what I eat, uh, how much I train, uh, how much I move, how much I don't move, etc. So I try to give or create this complete image of what I'm actually doing whenever I am maintaining. And then I try to assess what my actual goal is. So is my goal to gain, which my goal currently is. Maybe my goal is to lose weight or decrease my body fat percentage specifically. So after assessing my goals, then it's time for me to go into whatever I'm currently doing at my maintaining phase. And then I try to tweak the different variables. So for example, if my goal is to gain, then I can tweak my intake and I can say, okay, this is what I'm currently eating. These are the food choices that I make. Am I happy with the food choices that I make? Do I feel healthy? Do I think that I can maybe improve something there? And then if my goal is to gain, then I obviously need to make sure that I either eat more or move less. For me, I feel better when I eat more instead of moving less. Um, because I think that helps me with living a healthier lifestyle. So therefore I decide to improve my food qualities and increase the quantity of what I'm eating. And the reason why I love it this way is because it doesn't require me to track. So I think that in order for you to be able to make it part of your life, part of your life, it needs to be something that you can do automatically. So whenever it requires you a lot of your attention, it automatically means that it's not really something that you do out of a habit, if that makes sense. So when I'm always busy with tracking everything I eat, with tracking all my steps and tracking all my whatever I can track, then that means that I'm mentally very busy with living this lifestyle whereas if i don't feel the need to track but i still know that i'm working towards my goals i don't have that mental capacity dedicated to the gym and i can use that for something else and that way the gym enhances your life and it doesn't become your life i feel like there's this big misconception that if you want to achieve your goals then you have to become a gym rat then you have to keep tracking everything you have to know exactly what you're doing your life needs to revolve around the gym because that's now your main thing and i feel like that this encourages people to actually start whereas going to the gym or training or trying to live a healthier lifestyle enhances your life so for me the goal is never to gain you know like my goal is not to to gain weight my goal is to live the longest and happiest and best life that I can and if I kind of dissect that main goal into the different factors that I need to do in order to be able to achieve that then having a strong body and flexible joints and a good gut health is like important for me to achieve that long-term goal and that is the reason why I do what I do but I don't believe that you have to be like this big gym rat and that you have to track everything that you're doing in order to achieve that because as I said it's actually really simple and the simpler it is I don't know if you can say it like that but the simpler it is the more simple it is the easier it is for you to stick to it and to actually be able to stay consistent and achieve your goals long term and any goal that you might have afterwards so that's also the main challenge for me when building my app i want to make sure that my app reflects my approach 
I want to make sure that my app actually enhances the overarching goal of living this healthier and better and longer life. So that really is the challenge. Like how do I make sure that that method and those frameworks are actually conceptualized in the app in a way that it's easy for you guys to follow it and to not feel like you are uh, now needing to become like this gym rat or track everything or you know what I mean? So that's the main challenge. But when we achieve that goal, which is why we've been working on it for so long, it will be insane. Like it will be, I mean, my goal is for you guys to start using the app and then fall in love with the app so hard that you never want to stop using the app because it helps you so much with that overarching goal and not just with like workouts or recipes, you know what I mean? So that's why I'm nervous, <laughs> that's why I'm very excited and that's also why I wanted to take this time really quick to say that I really appreciate you for all your support so far. I wouldn't be sitting here on this bed right now if it wasn't for you um, watching my videos, supporting my content and please know that everything that I do with this project, with this app, is to reflect everything that we've built so far and to really put a product out there that won't disappoint anyone, which is also why we're doing it ourselves, um, which is a really, really big thing. But that also allows us to be able to deliver the quality that we absolutely want and that we can also, moving forward, um, tweak everything the way that we want to tweak it or add features that fit you guys best based on your feedback. So, yeah. I just wanted to say a big thank you and now I really need to go because it is time for day two of the workshop. Hello everyone, it is currently a few days later. I'm editing the vlog and I'm also recording a new video and I just made the tastiest potatoes. I want to show them but they'll be in my next video so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss their recipe because they look amazing um and i'm also editing it's it's a mess it's a mess i'm a mess but it's all working out i just forgot to end the vlog that you're currently watching so that is what i'm doing right now thank you for watching wait for the potatoes don't forget to subscribe and then i'll see you in the next one bye guys how amazing do these look i love it Okay, I'll share the recipe in my next video.